Hi, this is George Kenny for Veeam Software. Very quick presentation today on the Veeam backup for Microsoft Office 365. We're currently at version one of this by today's standards, and um, I'd like to give you a quick run through on how the interface looks, some of the features and functionalities, bear in mind it is version one at the moment, and uh, a very small sneak peek on maybe what's coming down the road, how we're gonna develop that particular application stack. So uh, let's launch into the interface itself. Um, I've launched this up in our demo center and you'll notice straight away that it is actually a separate installation. Now this is the console that you get when you launch the software. So it is separate from our other products. It doesn't live as part of the Veeam backup and replication console. It doesn't live as part of the availability suite or, or the availability orchestrator or any of, any of, of, of those components. It is a separate installation. It's licensed separately. Um, so it's considered almost a separate module by today's standards, no, no um, noises there as to whether this will be bridged into maybe the wider product stack later on, who knows? Um, um, I'm sure there's flexibility to do that. I've not heard that, but at the moment, as it stands today in 2017, this is an independent installation, okay? But the nice thing is you do see that the interface is very similar to the traditional Veeam backup and replication. You have this um, taskbar on the left with some sort of infrastructure tabs. And then on the right-hand side, you've got essentially what would be your jobs. And then when you click on these, you get a few more summaries. So the screen is split into four. You've got your ribbon at the top and then a quad of information here with maybe the details around the jobs here down at the bottom right. So they've kept that same narrative around how the actual software works and the intu intuitive nature around it. Um, I will give you a sneak peek on the next version. So uh, first thing to look at today is that we are currently running uh, version one. So 1.0.0.860. 0. Um, this is version first release and a few few patches there, but pretty much um, early day deployment. And you'll see it's quite light. We haven't got uh, many tabs down here. There will be some new stuff coming in later down the wire. So actually in terms of how it works, we have our organizations here. So because this is designed for Microsoft Office 365, you would go into this and go add Office 365 organization, and then you're presented with this particular wizard. You enter your credentials, and then that will connect to your Office 365. If you go to the next screen, it'll ask you to punch in the appropriate user permissions that give you the ability to view all the mailboxes and download the information there. And I use the word mailboxes there. I made a mistake. Um, what I should be saying is it will look at the independent users you want to back up because at Veeam, we are using the, um, if we go back to this particular presentation deck, it is called Veeam Backup for Microsoft Office 365. This is not a product to backup Exchange Online. Exchange Online lives as part of the Office 365 suite. So as Microsoft continue to develop that ecosystem of SaaS applications living in Office 365, we'll be able to develop into that and back them up on a per user basis. So the premise really here is that as you license this on a per user, all those SaaS applications that live in Office 365, let's say, for example, SharePoint and OneDrive, they will fall into this at a later date. So we have the ability to include all those applications and all that data on a per user basis. So we're not licensing this on a per mailbox. If you're considering backup for Exchange Online, you can certainly use this, but we don't care really how many mailboxes exist we just care about the number of users, which tends to be less than the number of mailboxes. You might see an organization with hypothetically a thousand users and 2000 mailboxes. So you protect with us the number of users, not the mailboxes. So that's good news really for us. Um, so this will actually grow in time as it maybe, you know, has more interfacing interaction and obviously more SaaS applications get developed by Microsoft that we then fit into. OK, so let's just have a look at what we've got here. We've got a couple of jobs, a daily backup. I can actually uh, go and start this particular job. Um, we can look at the history of what's actually happened with it. Uh, more importantly, if we actually go and... Um, uh, for example, go and uh, explore the latest state of the most recent backup, that will give us the options to, to restore. But what we could do instead is go explore a point in time because you might not want to go and review the most latest uh, timestamp of your, of your backup. So with this particular one, this will give us the ability to flick open the calendar. It's the 1st of September today, 2017. So I can see that I've got maybe, well, looks like 10 days worth of backups. So let's select the 24th of August, okay? And um, go finish. 
It will load the good old-fashioned Veeam Explorer, so this is very good, very similar to Veeam Backup and Replication, the Explorer technology you have in that, within that. So we'll be able to look at all the mailboxes, all the users, um, the the credentials within inside them, and essentially they're all everything they have living with inside their mailbox. Okay, so let's go and have a peek through the Explorer, and um, we can now see the users, and these users were prescribed in the actual job settings. So in here we can actually see some emails and we can say what we want to do with these. We can push them directly back into the, the demo center environment. That would be the name of your organization, but basically push that back into the mailbox that lives inside Office 365. We could restore it somewhere else, maybe to another uh, Office 365 deployment or maybe an on-premise exchange if you're using that as a, a multi-node. Um, we can rip it to a PST file or basically save it to an MSG file. So if I say save to MSG, if you wanted to just pick out an individual email, desktop, okay, it would do that. And then you can just see that it's dropped that MSG file onto the desktop of the backup administrator. So the Explorer is really easy to use. If you've used our traditional suite of products like Veeam Backup and Replication, you'll be familiar with this process. So nothing particularly taxing there on that. And you also have find criteria. So this is really important. Um, creating an auditable catalog of data or email um, um, search and indexing within Office 365 is not particularly easy by today's standards. So any organizations that are uh, particularly focused on searching that history of emails on a backup perspective, maybe for a year, two years and longer, then there is a very comprehensive search tool here that's included in this and it will be far faster and more efficient than the native tools that live within Office 365 because that can be a little bit cumbersome. Okay, so that's included, which is nice. Um, let's close off the Explorer and um, Let's just go and have a look at a couple of other things in here. So if we go and actually look at edit for this, we can see how the job is composed. You put a name in, which is quite straightforward. Back up all my mailboxes or back up the following mailboxes. So obviously you might want to select a small criteria of users in the environment. It might just be the board members, might just be the sales department. You know, you can pick and choose as to how you do that. You know, um, so because it's a per user basis, your license will obviously need to be uh, qualified for the number of mailboxes you actually want to back up. I should say users, but essentially it knows it's backing up mailboxes in this one. Next, and then we have quite a straightforward but very intuitive scheduling. Um, job. So let's cancel that because I don't want to make any changes. What I do want to show you on top of that is um, uh, you've got this history tab here. So you're familiar with this because you'll be able to look through all the history of the jobs. So that's pretty much the software. Like I say, version one, early days, a lot more to come. Okay. So that's why it's quite light at the moment, but you get the purpose. So I just want to show you this, which is maybe a snippet of what's going to come in version uh, 1.5. Uh, the user interface is going to be uh, beefed up a bit. We're going to have this new tab coming in, backup infrastructure. So you'll be able to um, configure a few more bits and bobs with inside the actual environment. Uh, with inside that, you'll actually be able to do things like adding different deployment types. So Office 365, hybrid deployment and on-premise. Uh, on-premises Microsoft Exchange, which is good. So at the moment, it's just focused on Office 365. Um, okay, and then backup repositories, we'll be able to tune those in here, set the specific retention policy for how many years you want to keep the data for, um, RESTful API support for uh, maybe an integration you want to introduce within your environment, and scalability within the backup performance, so we can actually throttle um, how uh, how quickly we want this, this particular operation to run. So just a few snippets there of... Um, um, you know, the next release, which is going to be 1.5. That's actually out in beta at the moment. So you can subscribe to that if you want to get your hands on that and trial that out. We should see that coming up before the end of 2017. Okay. And then version two, we're going to see a lot more uh, introduction of services later on and maybe some service provider integration as well, which is, which is also interesting. Um, the other under the hood sort of feature set that might be interesting to reference right now on this is that um, in 1.5, we'll also be allowing the proxies to be relatively independent. So if your server were to go down, the proxy could be scaled and the jobs can continue to run. So when your management console comes back online, the actual jobs that are processing the silver, the download from Office 365, the capturing of that data will continue to run. So certain amount of uh, autonomy and fault tolerance built into that. So that really was a very quick whistle stop tour on the uh, Microsoft, uh, um, the Veeam backup for Microsoft Office 365. My details are there. Any questions, please feel free to shout. Thank you.